Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from kicksoncourt.com. Today I have a quick look at the Air Jordan 8. Uh, this is the home colorway. I used to call it just the white and red colorway. And nowadays people call it the Bugs Bunny. Um, basically, I pre-ordered a pair of these in a size 9 over at sneakercrew.com. And then my friend was over at uh, our local House of Hoops this morning while I was at work. And he hit me up being like, hey, yo, they just got, like, just runs and runs of sizes of these over here. Did you want me to pick you up a pair? I said, sure, give me an eight and a half, because usually, like, the size has been, like, way off and all that stuff. So, got a size eight and a half. I like the way that they fit. Um, this is the color here. It's just white, black, and true red, just like it usually is. And the last time these released by themselves was, man, back in, like, 2003. Missed them then. They released in the countdown pack in 2008 didn't want the 15s that came with them so I skipped on them and now I finally have them. So with that being said let's go ahead and get right into it. Yes they brought the retro card back. No I don't mind too much with or without it. It doesn't really bother me. What I care about are these guys right here. So here you go. It's just a basic white and red Air Jordan 8. In my opinion the quality is okay. Um, like the craftsmanship is decent. There was a couple of like little glue things right here, but it was able to like I was able to rub it off. And other than that, I really don't have a problem with it. Um, everything is perfectly fine. I think the shape of the toe box is a little bit weird. Uh, kind of, it's a little boxy right here. But um, other than that, I am 100% satisfied. And in case you guys did not know, the Aqua Air Jordan 8 is my favorite colorway. And then this is the next one. Um, I don't know why, I've just always really liked this colorway. And uh, here you go. Pretty sure you guys have seen a bunch of reviews on these already. Um, if you guys want to know the materials, basically you have a split grain leather on the upper. And then you have your Chanel swoosh. Or not swoosh, sorry. Chanel Jumpman uh, logo right here on the tongue. And the tongue is just a nice nylon tongue. And then you have a synthetic suede on the back which is actually a pretty nice synthetic suede I really like that so and that's it um, here is a look at the bottom these are awesome to play basketball in um, I did again go down half a size I think that this is like a really this is like more fits more like a size 9 for me um, where it's got that snug fit so if you are planning to play basketball in a pair of these guys I would go down half a size unless you have white feet then I would just go true to size Here's what they look like with the straps open. Kind of reminds me of the Predator. But no, all joking aside, um, here's just the straps. You can see the split grain here. You can see the top top area is uh, split grain leather, and then this underlay right here. That's actually synthetic. Then you have that PU coat, which is polyurethane, and the straps and all that stuff. This is the nicest material. Um, it's the underlay material. It's kind of hard and all that stuff a little bit less forgiving um, that, that's mostly compared to like the original not the original but the uh, last run of retros like the white and gray and orange pair that I have that I hooped in for the Air Jordan project that one has like really nice soft leather uh, which is something that I personally prefer but this kind of leather does hold up a little bit better over time it shows less wear and tear less crease a little bit easier to clean and all that kind of stuff so I can see why they use it plus it's cheaper so manufacturing costs stay down um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm, I'm glad to have a pair. I'm glad to have a second one on the way. And, um, you know, I think it's weird that these didn't sell out, but, you know, nowadays you just really can't tell. Like some, some shoes might be your favorite and obviously they're just not a favorite of other, other people. So, um, and that's perfectly cool because it's more for me. So that is pretty much it. I'm not going to do it on feet just because I actually have to go and um, all that stuff. I gotta do a workout and then I gotta go and eat some food and all that stuff. So, um, but yeah, there's plenty of other reviewers that have uh, their on feet footage. Um, probably one of the best ones is like Mr. Fomer Simpson. So, if you wanna go check out his videos, go for it. Uh, he has great on feet. And with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you all for all of your support. And um, uh, yeah, thanks for my friend for picking these up. Uh, my friend, by the way, is number 13 on my league uh, team. Uh, his name is Drew, so a big shout out to you. And until next time, guys, have a good one.